What's up everybody and welcome back to an Elden Ring video. Now I don't usually post Elden Ring videos but with the DLC coming out and the fact that I had not killed Morg I thought you know what I'll do a video if it works out all right and as you can see I'm just in the area where you fight Morg now. Spoilers ahead obviously I have killed him I'm going to show you how I killed him from a complete Elden Ring noobs point of view. Now I've not touched this game since it came out. I kind of played it, completed it and left it alone. Uh, so I've, it's piqued my interest. I've jumped back into it. Uh, I built a brand new build because I was using build that really wasn't you know, good enough to do this. And I'm going to go through all that now. So I'll go through the build first of all, which I think is known as the most cheesy build in the game as it is. But I will show you my equipment. Uh, I'm using the Blasphemous Blade, absolutely maxed out. I've got the Dragon Communion Seal on, absolutely maxed out as well. And the Eld Tree Seal as well, maxed out. I've got the Bullgoat Helm Armor. Uh, this is armor that is actually missable in the game. I actually missed it, uh, but I found a really cool Reddit uh, community. Uh, I will show you, uh, I'll put it in the description down below, where people will trade you items, basically, so that if you've missed things, you're able to get them. Otherwise, I would have had to have started New Game Plus to go back and get this from a quest that's missable. Uh, I've also got the Crimson Amber Medallion Plus 2 on here. The Dragon Quest Great Shield Talisman. The Shard of Alexander. And the Eld Tree's Favor Plus 2. And that's obviously, all of this just basically resides around boosting my HP to as big, uh, as much as I possibly can. Uh, that's exactly what this all kind of revolves around. Boost that HP and the build just comes together absolutely brilliant. Uh, obviously, I've got my Flask of Crimson Tears, my Flask of Cerulean Tears, and i got my Wondrous Physic. You can see the that was one I used to use. I don't know if this is still one of the best ones you can do or not. But basically, just because it significantly negates damage received, this guy hits really hard, and that's why I went with that. Dogs are absolutely no good. Back in the beginning, they were, um, you know, top tier. Now they're rubbish. I use the Mimic tier Ashes plus three. Absolutely helps out. Really, really good. Uh, and then we've got the Runark. Uh, I've got uh, Morgut. I'll go through that when I sit down, actually. Uh, I've got, and that is it. So let's sit down at the Grey site. And... A great rune. I'm using Morgoth's Great Rune because it greatly raises my HP, which is great. And then when it comes to my uh, where is it? spells, uh, I wanted to use Grey Yol's Raw, uh, basically because it's just absolutely phenomenal. It basically roars. It makes them do less damage, and it makes you do more damage to them. Absolutely top tier. These two I just had on from what I used to use. Totally ignore them. Uh, don't worry too much about that. Uh, so yeah, that's really, really good. If you want to look at my stat, I'm fairly high level. This guy was really hard. As you can see, I'm level 250. Uh, my Vigor is 60. My Mind is 40. Endurance 32. Strength 40. Dex 29. Intelligence is 18. Faith 90 because that's where all of my damage comes from. Arcane is 20 and that's because I'm basically going to use the Blasphemous Blade and I'm going to use its special attack this. So that does a lot of damage but it also gives me back HP and therefore if I've got more HP I get more back basically more benefit from it. I think it's pretty much a well-known build this at this point that it's just you know the cheesiest kind of tankiest build that you can possibly build and for a noob like me just returning it's kind of perfect. Right, let's bring up my fight and I'll show you how badly I did. Alright, so in we go. I don't think I actually used the Great Rune this time around because I was running out of them. And I was basically not wanting to waste them. I was kind of practicing different techniques. But my idea with this run was to just get the Mimic out and do as much damage as I possibly can. Especially when he gets to his kind of second phase, he really starts to hurt. And without the Mimic as a distraction, I just kind of found it really, really hard. So get the Raw on so he does less damage to us. And then we can do more damage to him. And then basically it was just trying to do as much damage as I possibly can while keeping my HP up and not having to use my, my potions using the Great Sword 
to pump my HP back up when I needed to. I was trying to keep as much attention from them as I, as I can. That way then the Mimic would take less damage and be more readily available when it came to the second phase. That's why I always found that the Mimic was always dead by the time I got to the second phase and it made it really, really hard. But, like I said, I am a complete noob at this. I know there's lots of people way, way better, but if you're a noob like me, as you can see at this point, we're doing pretty well. Mimic was kind of nearly three quarters life, but it was getting its life back because it was using the sword also, which is kind of great. At this point, it really hurts. I don't know what else to do but pop portions. And I was like, great, we've got it to the second phase. The Mimic still got, you know, at this point, over three quarters of his life because he's got some back. And it was like, right, come on, time to pump out as much damage as possibly can while he's still distracted. Especially if you can stagger him and get him down, which is really nice. Gives you a, a bit of a rest because he's all over the place. He's a pretty fast boss. So he's down again, he's doing good, get some extra damage in. And I just did more damage doing regular hits rather than trying to go and actually do like the move set. Time to use the Wanderer's Physic because he hits really hard and I was starting to panic a little bit. This was the closest I got him down in a long while. And obviously I saw that my Mimic is starting to... Uh, to lose life but hopefully he restores a little bit there which is great and there goes my mimic I felt like I was in good shape Get a little bit lucky here there. as he went down I managed to heal get a few hits in and that was it a four hit combo for the finish as I was absolutely sweating and panicking. Yeah, definitely not the easiest fight. I can definitely understand why only 38% or nearly 39% of Steam players actually uh, have that unlocked. Definitely not the easiest of fights. But apparently this is a requirement to enter the DLC. So I managed to scrape my way through it as a noob. Hopefully you guys managed to do it as well and hopefully this finds yourself if you're going to do it hopefully this is a little bit helpful if not good luck let me know how you did it down below don't forget to like share comment and subscribe see you next time